This was probably made sometime in the 90s, 95, 96, <coughs> somewhere along in there. It's, uh, it, it too is made of alder because I had an abundance of alder. But I, I've seen the uh, drawing of this motion here where it has a, a small wheel turning a large wheel with the use of pegs sliding in slots. They swap slots right there at the middle. I see. Oh yeah. You can see it like come that. up out of one slot and go into another one. There's three three pegs and six slots. It was a motion that was used in some type of machinery. Right there. Yeah. Years and years ago. Now I now I'm pointed the right way to show uh, the. Uh, still hard to see the things coming in and out of that wheel. A little slower. Well. Uh, you just see the peg go across the center right there. Let's see if this does it. Goes from one slot to the next. Oh yeah, you just barely see it there. Okay. Yeah. From this angle. Huh. Yeah. And what was it you were saying about that? Well, I did spring? tend to the, uh, the distance between these two shafts quite right when I drilled the holes. So the chain was a little bit too loose, so I had to put a chain tightener in, and I had to make a wooden spring for it. So Slightly bowed, yeah. just to put a little... Just to put, keep a little tension on it. I can and see it. It just had a shaft sticking out here, and my wife said it ought to be doing something, so I made a fan blade for it. I can see that spring uh, moving up and down a little bit as you, as you crank. It's, it's taking up the slack. Yeah, and here's the fan blade for me. But the whole thing driven with wooden chain and wooden sprocket. All made out of wood and glue and dowels. Alrighty. <laughs> well, it seems to work pretty good, so the humidity is affected this one too much. Not as complex. No. <laughs> <laughs>